Jobmaster is the acknowledged leader in technical skills training for schools and industry. Over the past 10 years, our training professionals analyzed approximately 50,000 industrial tasks at various manufacturing facilities. We discovered that more than 1,000 of these tasks were common to all the facilities involved. This group of tasks is the basis for the Jobmaster training system. Jobmaster training systems are used by maintenance technicians and machine process operators at numerous Fortune 100 companies for ongoing apprentice training, to upgrade present skills, and to learn new skills such as performing OSHA lockout and tagout, wiring conduits according to schematics, troubleshooting a magnetic starter, installing a safety guard, programming a PLC, setting up a lubrication schedule, installing and aligning structural parts. What do all these skills have in common? All these skills are required to install, operate, and maintain industrial systems within a manufacturing facility. They are all performed at industries such as Dow Chemical, Ford Motor Company, Caterpillar, and General Electric. And they are all skills that can be learned on the Jobmaster 1600 electrical mechanical cell. This training system offers the most advanced, innovative technical skill training available today. The 1600 simulates an actual workplace operation. Hands-on training exercises equip the technician with the skills needed to assemble, operate, maintain, and troubleshoot electrical and mechanical systems. Technicians perform actual plant tasks on system components, such as electrical wiring and conduit, programmable logic controllers, belt conveyors, gears, motor control stations, traveling hoists, and industrial lighting components typically found in today's industrial facilities. This automated factory occupies less than 50 square feet. The unit is configured to provide the technician the experience of working from ladders and working in confined spaces. To begin learning the skills needed by an electrical or mechanical technician, the trainee must first assemble the components included with the Jobmaster 1600. First, trainees will bolt together the frame, run electrical conduit, and install the cable tray and conductors. Trainees will learn how to wire the system by using mechanical assembly drawings and electrical schematics. They will set up and adjust mechanical components, program the PLC, and check out its operation. Once assembled and in operation, the 1600 then becomes the learning station for maintenance training and troubleshooting exercises. Job orders drive the assembly of the 1600 frame and the subsequent training exercises. The course manager provides the trainee with a job order, reference materials, a bill of materials, drawings, and schematics. The course manager makes sure that all the tools and materials are available, then observes the trainee to ensure the work is performed competently and safely. When the work is done, the course manager checks it for compliance with the general objective and the specifications of the job order. After each job order is completed, the course manager checks the quality of the work and signs the trainee's job order. The technical materials provided with the 1600 simulate the plant procedures and operation manuals the trainee will find in an actual work environment. The drawings provide the trainee with practice in interpreting the standard NEC, NESC, ANSI, and JEC symbols found on installation and machine drawings 
and on different types of electrical schematics. The Jobmaster 1600 also provides optional packages that enhance the basic electrical mechanical cell. The options include the following. Industrial lighting. Trainees learn to install, wire, test and troubleshoot fluorescent fixtures, ballasts, low bay and emergency lighting. DC motor drive and variable frequency drive. Both of these optional packages provide the trainee with the opportunity to learn, install, wire, set up, test, operate, and monitor motor and drive operations. Simulated paint and dry operation. The paint and dry operation provides experience with installing and operating the components of a simulated paint operation, including sensors, paint nozzle, heater, ventilating fan, proximity and photoelectric sensors, a stack loader, and programmable logic controller. Instructor Fault Insertion. The course manager inserts faults into the PLC program, the PLC input-output functions, and the operating parameters. Trainees can then troubleshoot problems related to the motor control circuits, sensor circuits, and field devices. Conveyor and Drive. The conveyor, powered through a gear reducer and roller chain, allows trainees to install, align, set speeds, adjust belt tension and tracking, lubricate and troubleshoot a belt-driven conveyor. Electric Brake. This optional feature provides close control of conveyor travel. The trainee learns to install, adjust, and maintain the electric brake. Traveling Hoist. Trainees learn how to install a hoist and beam end stops test a load brake, replace a chain, and troubleshoot a motorized trolley. How much your maintenance technicians can do and how well they do it affects both your bottom line and your competitive edge. Your key to a more efficient operation is to increase the productivity of your employees. You can do this by providing your employees with the best training available with real-world hands-on training. The Jobmaster 1600 Electrical Mechanical Cell is the most innovative and comprehensive electrical mechanical training station available today. Train your technicians for the 21st century with Jobmaster Training Systems.